Snow? Anyone want to build a snowman? Snow person, Cody. And no, we should go inside. None of us are dressed for this weather. I am. Aw, <gasps> one winter boot, two winter boot. Check out my brand new snowsuit. Let the temperature drop. I'm all zipped up in my new snowsuit. The fun won't stop. Snow angels ride a toboggan. Do a triple shot cow right into a snowman. Person. is 20 below, but I don't give a hoot because I'm warmer than toast in my new snowsuit. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> What in the sweet cherry crumble? Where'd this snow come from? Looks like this global cooling issue is a real thing. Ah! Everyone inside, now! Um, Owen, pal, you're inside. You, you can take your snowsuit off now. Don't wanna. It's my first brand new suit. Ever. All my other snowsuits were hand-me-downs from my cousin in Edmonton, but her family moved to Florida. Now I get hand-me-down bathing suits instead. Right. Anyway, since I didn't get a hand-me-down snowsuit this year, I got to choose my own one at the store. <laughs> Check it out. Fully insulated with yak fur, reflective slush-proof butt flaps, and auto-inflate mode. <laughs> in case I fall down. Wow! Pretty cool. Okay, kids, you know what the first snowfall of the year means. Harold gets his tongue stuck to the frozen fence pole. I knew I forgot to do something. Yes, but also, it's time to decorate for the holidays. You kids make some paintings and stuff that we can hang up around here. I'll start on my office. <laughs> <laughs> He's almost as excited about decorating as I am about snowy make snowsuit here. Aren't you getting a little warm in that? <gasps> I'm gonna wear it all day long. <laughs> Done. I made a candy cane. Whoa. This auto inflate feature really works. Oh no! No, no, no! Come on, come on, come on! Oh. Sorry! Totally an accident! Oh, I'm gross! Oh. Oh. Not Santa's village! I'm sorry! Look, I knew you were really something back in the day, and uh, I'm a bit of a troublemaker myself. So, I was wondering if maybe uh, you'd tell me your secret? I pooped in a photo booth today. What? No, dude. I meant what you did to get that 100-year timeout. Please, I'll do anything if you tell me anything. This kid is my ticket back inside. Well, since I got no kids of my own, I'm willing to teach you how to be a real mischief maker. Yeah, I'm not really looking for an intro class. I just need to know what the prank was that earned you that massive timeout. I can't just tell you the greatest shenanigan ever pulled. Your mind would snap like an overloaded wagon on a corduroy road. Who makes roads out of pants? Just tell me how you got the timeout. Hey, it's my way or the highway. Oh, fine. Good. And I only do school-based shenanigans, so you'll need to sneak me back into the daycare. <sighs> sure, whatever. Let's find you a disguise at the local thrift store. Okay, let's see how you look. <sighs> too gnarly. Oh, too adorable. Oh, too poopy. It's perfect. Dude, no one's gonna believe you're a kid just because you have a propeller beanie. Those things went out of fashion a century ago. It'll work fine. And fashion is cyclical for your information. As they made their way upriver to find the Colonel, Willard knew this was no ordinary mission. And he... Duncan, where have you... Who's that with you? Uh, new student. His name is Paul. Not Paul. Nepal? N Napoleon. That's his name. Napoleon. You look familiar, Napoleon. And old. Oh, really? Would an old person wear a hat like this? Mm, good point. Welcome to our daycare, Napoleon. <laughs> okay, your dumb hat worked. Now, will you tell me about the big one? Slow down your rolling. I need to teach you to walk before I teach you to get the runs. You are horrible at expressions. 
Either way, if you want to learn the big one, you gotta start with the small ones. Your first shenanigan is what I call the Exploding Bowl Troll. <laughs> Child's play. I recommend stall number two. Ooh, that's my favorite. I call this one the Plummeting Pail of Porcupine. Can you handle it? Yawn. In my sleep, Grandpa. This one is spring training for the big league, son. Behold, the snake snack attack. Seriously? Is this amateur hour? One snake snack attack coming up. Who turned out the lights? Hello? Hello? Nope, I am done with the appetizers, Paul. I'm ready for the big one, and you know it. Come on, Story. Come on. Um, we're halfway done this episode. Maybe someone else should No! Be Wait! I need more time. Okay, but if someone else starts a story, we'll have to let it happen. <gasps> Whoa! We've never done a genie episode! <laughs> awesome! Easy! You should wish for a million cookies! Shh, 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 here it comes! The Great Custu will grant you three wishes! <laughs> This is going to be my story, one way or another. Aw, oh, come on, Bridget. It's not our fault if we make better muses for the writers. I mean, cut them some slack. They're barely employable as it is. Whoa! Jeffrey Wimpree! You freed the mole people from our underground prison, which makes you our new king. Ow! Oh, Ow! no, you don't. Bub, all of you need to stop trying to steal my episode. I'm not stealing your episode. I'm just eating chips and waiting for you to find a story idea that. Ow! <gasps> That's the golden chip. Cody just won us all a tour of Jimmy Chonka's magical chip factory. Come and see, and we'll eat, and it'll end up here potato dehydration. It's okay. I'm just a potato. to prevent a war with the machine. I am here to take Duncan, Izzy, Nishana, Cody, Beth, Owen, Noah, Courtney, Harold, Jude, Lightning, Sugar, Gwen. You know what? Everyone but Bridget. Come with me if you want to. <laughs> okay, kids, recess is over. Come on in so we can make our final decision on what episode to submit. <laughs> Sorry, Bridget. I promise we'll help figure out an episode for you next season. <sighs> okay, so everyone's in agreement? We're gonna submit episode number one. <clears throat> Everyone, I just wanted to say that I'm coming to terms with my status as a background character. Oh, don't say that, Badongo. You're... No, no. It's all right. I know it's true. I'll never be popular like Izzy or Owen or even Harold. Even Harold? But it's okay. With cameras following me around all day, I remembered how hard it is to drive an episode. And honestly, that's just not me. I'd never abandon students and fly across the country. Unless I'd given them maps. Here you go. We get separated, meet here. Wow, Chef. Did you color those all by yourself? Well done. Thank you, Noah. I worked really hard. Now, I'm giving a map to the smartest person in each group. So, one for me, one for Courtney. Hi! You think Courtney's brain is smarter than mine brain does? Yes. Oh, 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 Chef, oh! The map goes to LaShawn. Hard pass. People in charge take the fall when things go bad, and I am not going down for you. Huh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh... Oh, me! Chef, me! Whoever catches it is in charge. The map chose me. I am the chosen one. That's not how choosing works. Chosen one. Sometimes. 
Sometimes you just gotta toss a map and see where it blows. That's not how maps work! <laughs> no one knows how maps work. Come on! We gotta get through security before the flight leaves! Yeah! Wow, we're actually doing it. Sir Splash a lot! 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 I'm so excited! My stomach is in nuts! We're back to board a plane to Sir Splash a lot! We should have used that money to rebuild the school! Close your ear, Courtney, or I'll push you in the pool! <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go? I wanna go! Should I go? You gotta go! What is it though? It's H2O! It's water slides! It's all your favorite water rides! Here comes stuff to spoil it! It's the world's finest toy! <laughs> Sir Splash a lot was a cowardly knight. Every little thing gave him a terrible fright. If he saw a kitten, a cloud, or a farmer, Sir splash a lot would scream and wet his suit of armor! <laughs> That's how he got his name! <laughs> Let's pretend we're fish! Or snappy meat crustaceans! This special kitty helps me with flotation! Ah! Water parks cause more injuries than most summer destinations! Statistics show 80% of severe laceration! I can't wait. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be insane. We better end this musical number and get on to the plane. Sir Splash a lot, Sir Splash a lot, Sir Splash a lot. Seriously, we're gonna miss the plane. Ah! It's Giggle Do Day. Yeah! Come and get it. Stop throwing the giggle dough or I will. <laughs> Do you think this is funny? Do you? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Everyone on the carpet now. We are going to learn about responsibility. Who is responsible for this mess? Well, since you're the one who handed out the giggle dough, I guess it's you. What? She's right. No, she is not. Oh man, he's gonna try to blame this on us. It was you. We're just children. <laughs> Enough. You know what you did, and Giggle Doe Day just became Clean Up Day. Aww. Harsh. I want this entire place spotless by lunchtime. I'll be in my office, uh, working. I've been asked to submit some photos of myself for the child educator's calendar this year. Still not sure what kind of photo I should send him. I'm thinking super tough and cuddly at the same time. Dude, what you doing? Digging an escape tunnel. I gotta get out of this place. And go where, bro? I'm thinking Splash Madness Kingdom, home of the Wedgie Maker. Sweet! But everyone is supposed to be cleaning up. I don't see Lashana cleaning. That's because she's not here today, bro. She's homesick. <gasps> I've been wasting all this time trying to dig my way out when all I had to do was get sick. Genius! She must be so bored and lonely. We should call and cheer her up. Hey, guys, what's up? Brah, you're missing Giggle Doe Day. Owen oh, ate his. It was awesome. How are you doing? Are you okay? Girl, I've been staying up late, rocking my PJs all day, and I just binge watched Power Kitten Ninja Dance Force. Dude, she just described my perfect day. Being sick kind of rocks. No kidding. And my mom stayed home from work to take care of me. Watch this. Hey, Mama, where's my ice cream? You get to eat ice cream too? All you can eat, baby. That is, after you 
you get through all of them. Great. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Stop. No one goes inside today. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I smell a steaming pile of Halloween prank coming up. Wrong, Duncan. I'm not doing Halloween pranks ever again. Okay. Why's that? Because the scariest thing about last year's Count Trascula was how badly I smelled when I got back from the dump. Right? Oh, boy. So we can't go inside because you overheard us trash-talking you? No, the school's actually being sprayed due to a bear infestation. Bear infestation? Psh, this is totally another scare fail. Excuse me, I have learning to do. <laughs> Real bears, not a prank. Told you I was done with Halloween. The school board found us a temporary location. Now go join the others on the bus. It's the same color as my uncle's teeth. Aw, oh, man. Do we have to? <gasps> my spot on the bus is bear food. <laughs> <laughs> They're already scared. But uh, how much did the bear cost? I said no questions. Let's go. We're here, kids. Huh? Looks a little run down, doesn't it? This looks like a house that eats people. Oh, Cody, don't be silly. It's just an old school that was shut down years ago for mysterious reasons that were never made public. This is giving me the creeps. I don't want to go in. Kids, kids! You're only thinking this place looks scary because it's Halloween, the one day of the year when spirits rise up from the beyond to haunt the living. Ah! Let's get inside. You kids ready? I'll just use this key to unlock the door and we can... Do not enter! <laughs> because I just farted. Hard. That's why I said don't enter. <laughs> Seems okay now. Come, come. Your plan never mentioned a scary old lady. I met her last night when I was double checking everything. She really was the old headmistress. Well, she's kind of creepy. And that is why I hired her. Oh, how much is that costing me? Look, either I'm in charge, or you can try to scare the kids on your own, Halloweener. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's your show. This is one of the many hallways. We use them to connect different rooms. Well, yeah, that's what hallways do. Not so. Many of these hallways lead to dead ends. Of course there are rats. We're near the kitchen. And cut! Great work, everyone. Chef never suspected a thing. Did, it? Yeah. Did you see his face? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chef was like, ee. We still have a lot of work to do. Stay focused. Harold, I'll meet you in the control room. Duncan, I need the Shauna ready in 10 minutes. Hey, I'm a special effects makeup artist, not a magician. Everyone else, stick to the script and the schedule. <laughs> you sound like Courtney. Say that again. I won't. I've invested too much of my time and Chef's money into this to have it fail. So yeah, I'm being Courtney-ish. But Courtney gets things done. Never tell her I said that. You were perfect, Grandma. We couldn't have done it without you. Anything for my favorite granddaughter. And now I'm off to bingo. Okay, good luck. Don't need it. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> I can't believe that's your grandma. I don't care for the rest of you. Oh, now I see it. Chef and the others should be landing in the basement now. Let's do this. <laughs> Courtney, Sugar, where's Cody? Oh. I'm a pancake. It's no time for hide and seek, Cody. Oh. Ow. What just happened? Where are we? <laughs> I'll be fine. Catch my... Oh. No, 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 no. This wasn't the plan. What do you mean? This wasn't the plan. Nothing. Uh, nobody panic. We just need to find our way back to Gwen and... Ah! The creepy choir's back! Gwen, where are you? Use your phone. Call the school board. They'll help. Yeah, I'll call them. 
Chef's call is coming in now. Remember, you're just a nice, confused old lady. I'm ready. Yesterday, I worked on my character's backstory. Her name's Helen. She has two cats, collects teapots, and she's allergic to gill feather turnips. Just answer the call. Total Drama School Board, this is Helen. How may I help you today? Oh, thank goodness. We're trapped in the basement of the creepy schoolhouse. Can you call Miss Smackbottom and tell her to come get us? Oh, my. But Miss Smackbottom passed away 25 years ago in that very house. <gasps> How did she die? <laughs> I knew he would ask. Well, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but... Hello? Helen? Hello? Please help us find a way. Great. Now activate the signal blocker so we can't make or receive any more calls. I saw three chefs come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. <sighs> Isn't decorating for the holidays just the best, kids? Well, it sure looks like fun. Oh, I know you kids like to help, but we don't want your tiny, clumsy, gross little hands ruining Christmas now, do we? That's fair. Exactly. I had a tree flown in special this year, and all of my ornaments are one of a kind. They represent all the places I'll never get to visit because I give you kids all my time and energy. Oh, time for the star. I'll grab a ladder while you kids bask in the majesty of my tree decorating skills. Whoa. That's them, Craig. Little lumps of coal upon whom we'll be taking our revenge. Uh -huh. Because they melted me last year. So now we're going to hit them where it really hurts. Christmas. And I have come up with the perfect plan. We're going to destroy that Christmas tree! Oh. What? No! Oh, what have they done? No, that was my evil plan! Oh, I guess it's back to the evil drawing board. What did we do? That wood chipper does a good job. This is a disaster! Everybody knows how much Chef loves Christmas! It's the only holiday he actually gets right! Yeah! Every year, Chef's Christmas spirit fills my heart with the warmth and joy of the season. What? It's a Christmas special. I don't always have to be a jerk. Guys, I fixed it. I fixed the tree. Owen. That's a horrible tree. If we don't find a new tree for Chef, he's going to be sad on Christmas. And it can't be just any tree. We need the most perfect tree in the whole world. Okay. Let's do it, y'all. I'll get my backup pants. Christmas tree. What about Chef's famous landmark ornaments? He said they were one of a kind. As always, science is the answer. It's a shrink ray. We can visit each landmark, shrink them down, and put them on the tree Izzy brings back. Wow! How long has that been in your pants? And why have we never used it before? It's super convenient. No time to talk. Let's move. So all we got to do is keep Chef in the dark about what's going on. Easy peasy. Unless you know who does you know what. What? What about me? Well, um, how to put this delicately? You rat us out all the time, every time. That was far from delicate and also wrong. I can totally be trusted with this. Da -da 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 -da. Sure, wet mittens are annoying, but not enough to ruin Christmas. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long day. <laughs> I smell something. What is it, Owen? What is it, boy? I smell cake. Why, hello, Owen. I'm taking the cake smell. Mmm, I'm delicious. Oh. I don't see any cake. If Owen says there's cake, there's cake. After it, boy! Good to come catch me! Uh, 
What are you doing? <laughs> yes, cake. Izzy brought it in. I didn't know it was your birthday. Oh, it's not. I just felt like cake today, so I told my mom I'd rip out all my hair if she didn't bake me one. I was all, give me cake, give me cake, give me cake! Well, that's normal. Good job. Can we eat now? Oh, no. <laughs> it's not cake time yet. What? No. It's who? Remember what happened the last time we had cake during the day? Hey, kids. Who was <laughs> It was chaos, remember? Yeah. No cake until the end of the day. <laughs> that way, when y'all go sugar bonkers, it's your parents' problem. It's my little way of getting revenge for sending cake. Oh man, I want that cake bad. Oh, me too. My mouth won't stop watering if it knows cake is here. Hey, mouth. What's with the drool? It's Nose's fault. He smelled cake. Oh, sure, blame me. Did anyone get a load of those corner pieces? You mean the ones on the corners? What about them? Are you kidding me? Each corner piece has five times the cakiness and ten times the iconosity. She'll probably keep one for herself, then give the other three corners to her best buddies. Well, <sighs> too bad we're not her best buddies. Then how do we get them? I guess we could fake being her best buddies all day just to get one. But who's that dishonest? Not me. Later, my beautiful cake. Why are you... Shh. Listen. It's happening. <laughs> it's really happening. Here comes the ice cream truck. <gasps> Everyone else just saw that, right? That was the fourth weirdest thing I have ever seen. Listen, there it is again. Kids, there's no other way to say this. We're broke. We have no money. Zero. We can only afford to feed one of you to the other. Huh? It's a miracle, kids. We're saved! My ice cream money. Ice cream! Ice cream! I need that ice cream. <laughs> Hey, no look in the truck! <laughs> this is bad. When Owen gets his mind set on eating a thing but doesn't get to, he starts eating things that look like that thing. Oh, I gotta help him out before he sees my undershirt. <gasps> Ice cream trucker, uh, how long you parking here? Till 2 p.m. sharp, then I hit the park. Oh, you could score two bucks by then. You mean if I can get two bucks by 2 p.m., you'll sell me an ice cream? Yeah, that's how money works. Oh, you're on. Don't go anywhere. I won't, until 2 p.m. Guys, guys, I need to borrow a few bucks. I'm good for it, please. Oh, come on, Gerald. Owen, if you want to bring in the coin, you need to start your own business. I've never had a business before. I've been told to mind my own business, but I think that's different. Anything, I'll do anything. One dollar each. Could you hide my pet? He's outgrowing my lunchbox. <laughs> what is that? It was my bologna sandwich, but then I forgot to eat it, and now I have a pet mold experiment. I'll give the little guy a good home. Ah! Here's your dollar. <laughs> Henry and I have such wonderful times. Henry's what I named him. He loves helping me with my ninja training. Oh, oh. He has quite the sensitive side, too. Bad sandwich! Bad sandwich! Hey, hey, hey. Shh. It's okay. You're okay. Let's just retrace your steps and we'll find them. Okay. I showed up at school and went to visit the goldfish. 
then to the bathroom to dry off. Then went outside to play. Then I came back inside, clapping my hands and carrying nothing. Oh, where could my fudgy lumps be? So it sounds like you left your fudgy lumps outside. <gasps> Stay strong, fudgy lumps. I'm a coming. Go! 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 No! Uh, is this door an innie or an outie? Somebody help me! It's locked. The pool noodle's too soft. It'll just bounce off and... Yep. Ah! The plastic chairs aren't strong enough to... See? This isn't over! I've tried every possible way to escape this daycare. Nothing worse than watching an amateur try it. I'm gonna ram the door! No! No! And I'll go get Chef. He'll be able to open the door. <laughs> okay, on three, one! Ah! What happened to two and three? Chef, are you in there? Chef says that Chef's not in his office. Ah! I can get you outside, but it's gonna cost you. Anything, anything for my fudgies. Um, I got six cents and a piece of lightly chewed gum. I don't want your secondhand gum. I said lightly chewed. Lightly! I want a cut of the fudgy lumps. <gasps> no deal, never! Owen, pal, um, you need to see this. <laughs> No! Get away from my fudgy lump! Go, oh, no! Hey, don't! You stop that! Ah! Ah! I'm not sure why, but Owen's always had incredibly bad luck with squirrels. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! For the love of s'mores, please stop! <gasps> a snake! Snake, stop that squirrel! Please, stop him! Oh, no! Now they both got a taste for the lumps. I will share my fudgy lumps with anyone who helps me get them back. Everyone, meet me in the play castle. I got a plan to get us outside. <laughs> if you guys help me finish this tunnel, we can rescue Owen's fudgy lumps, and he'll share them with us. Yes! <laughs> Oh, looks like Christmas came early this year. Then where's my stocking full of jerky? Christmas came early for me. For the rest of the world, it won't come at all. <laughs> Don't worry, kids. All we need is a little Christmas magic to, um... You mean this Christmas magic that I found in your pocket? Oh. Now the world will believe Santa! Oh, and think how mad they'll be when I tell them Christmas is canceled forever because of you kids! <laughs> well, kids, guess there's no more Christmas. <laughs> how are you always jolly? Oh, that's just the way I talk. I'm actually crying inside. So, what were you all doing up north? We stole your tree. <laughs> oh. I like your honesty, but you're still going on the naughty list. Oh, so I should have lied. Ugh, got it. Lying is better. Obviously. Thank Titan. Liars get presents. I'm gonna write that on my chest and marker. No, no, no. What I meant is... Lying keeps you on the good list. Santa said it. It's gotta be true. <sighs> Let's talk about something else, like how to get out of here. Zip it, old man. I got this. I drew a dolphin. If anyone asks, we're elves visiting from the South Pole. Why are we visiting? I need more backstory. Uh, because we're starting a new Christmas. Yeah, summer Christmas. And we came to discuss logistics. Uh, weak. Luckily, I've taken improv classes. I can make it work. Um, who are you? We snuck in. They made me. Please don't put me on the naughty list. Why you always got a tattle? <whistles> Seize them! I bet these naughty listers are behind Santa and his tree going missing. Santa is missing? Okay, I know this looks bad, but we had nothing to do with that. Wait, aren't you the troublemakers from last year who burnt all the letters to Santa and let the reindeer get away? No, we're completely different people that just look like them. We're actually an improv troupe. 
For this scene, we'll need an occupation and a uh, chance to run away! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> what is this? Aw, we're wrapped up in the spirit of Christmas. Who knew the Greek Coliseum was a massive petting zoo for goats? Lashana's right. Let's shrink this creepy place and get home. On it! Okay, let's head back now. Not yet. I want to surprise Chef with one more ornament. The most Christmassy building of all. Santa's house! Ba, ba, ba.